Green, or sustainable, building is the practice of utilizing resources such as land, water, energy, and materials in common construction practices to create more efficient and effective buildings. Studies have shown that sustainable construction creates a healthier work, learning, and or living environment with cleaner air, better natural lighting, and increases overall productivity. In the late 1990s, the green building movement began to gain major momentum, driven in large part by the formation of the nonprofit organization United States Green Building Council, or USGBC, in 1993, and the launch of the pilot program for its Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design, or LEED, rating system in 1998. LEED was officially launched in 2000 and has evolved over the past 14 years into a multifaceted, multi-attribute third-party green building rating system. Where it started with a single one-system-fits-all program, it has developed into building type-specific programs including schools, retail, and healthcare. LEED version 4 was recently released and has new credit names, combined credits, and some deleted credits. We refer to the new name and the LEED 2009 credit name for ease of reference. The system has four levels, from lowest to highest, certified, silver, gold, and platinum. The levels are achieved by earning a series of points from various categories. The categories are Sustainable Sites, Water Efficiency, Energy and Atmosphere, Materials and Resources, Indoor Environmental Quality, and Innovation and Design. Additional points may be earned under the Regional Priority category for credits already achieved that have been identified as having significant importance within the project's geographic region for example, water conservation in the southwest United States. Currently, for LEED version 4, the maximum available credits to obtain LEED Platinum is 80 to 100, and from there 60 to 79 to obtain Gold, 50 to 59 to obtain Silver, and 40 to 49 to obtain Certified. LEED provides a means to actually measure sustainability and has become the most commonly utilized standard for measuring green design in the U.S. While there is strong evidence that green building has great environmental and social benefits, there is still consistent resistance both inside and outside the green community because of the lack of accurate and reliable financial and economic information to make the case for building green. Quantifying the costs and benefits of sustainable design and determining whether green building was economically viable has always been the greatest challenge because the cost data was not being measured and collected. One organization with comprehensive data was Davis Langdon, now part of ACOM, which is a cost consulting company that details the costs of hundreds of construction projects annually. They created a database that serves as a clearinghouse of cost information for all projects within the Davis Langdon offices. The database tracks the construction costs and design specifics of projects, including sustainable measures and lead points targeted or achieved by the building. The database stores point-by-point -point information about lead applicable projects. It also stores credit identity, cost for the point, as well as level of point achievement. Davis Langdon first published its findings in 2004 in the report Costing Green, a Comprehensive Cost Database and Budgeting Methodology. In 2007, they followed up on that initial research with Cost of Green Revisited, re-examining the feasibility and cost impact of sustainable design in the light of increased market adoption. The later report covered more buildings and expanded the range of building types that were studied. Together, these reports remain the most comprehensive study of lead and green building construction costs to date.
You can find the reports on usgbc.org and gbci.org. In both studies, the conclusions were consistent. We listed them here. 1. Many projects met their goal of LEED certification while staying within budget, and costs were comparable to similar non-LEED projects. 2. While the cost of construction had gone up between 2004 and 2007, and is even higher now, projects were still becoming LEED certified. 3. However, there remained the perception that green was an add-on, not something that was fundamental to the project's design from the beginning. That has changed slightly since 2007, but it still is an issue.